Hi, I've got something special for you here. That is a little tutorial on how to use the UI path for each activity. And to start off this tutorial, I'm going to create a new project and call it the UI path for each activity example. I'm going to click the create button. And then once the project is initialized, I'm going to open the main workflow and I'm going to drag a for each activity onto the sequence. Now, if you type four under activities, you get a lot of stuff. You'll get read cell formulas for each row, format value, parallel for each, wait for download. So four isn't quite good enough. You might want to type in for each. Now, even with for each, you get for each row. That's supposed to be used for UI path Excel automation activities. You'll get parallel for each. The one we want to work with is just the workflow for each iterative loop statement. So I'm going to drag that onto the workflow. And in this for each example, I'm just going to work through an array of ints, the Fibonacci numbers, actually. Fibonacci, Fibonacci. My Italian isn't that great, but my math isn't too bad. So I'm going to start off by creating a brand new variable, and I'll just call it Fibonacci numbers. And boy, how do you spell Fibonacci? I'm gonna have to look that up. I've got that in my notes somewhere. So Fibonacci numbers. I don't know how to spell it and I don't know how to pronounce it. It's gonna be an array. I actually asked my boss for arrays the other day and he said, no arrays, just use, just use another collection class. But I'm gonna use arrays here. Uh, the generic T has to be specified and so I'm gonna have an array of ints. And this is just going to be the Fibonacci sequence of numbers. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 21, 34, 35, 89. I think those are correct. They certainly should be good enough for this little example here. But yeah, we do now have this array of numbers called Fibonacci numbers displayed. Now, by the way, for the UiPath Associate Certification Exam, they want you to be familiar with various API calls, one of which is just know, to know how to get the number of elements in an array. So starting off, I'm going to start off by putting a message box at the top of the sequence that'll just say the number of elements in the array is and use this array length property, Fibonacci numbers dot length dot two string, you need to remember the two string. And then I'll actually print out the number of elements in the array. So that's just something worth noting. Dot length, there's a property of an array, tells you how many elements are in the array. You'll need to know that if you wanna get UiPath Associate certified. Okay, but we wanna loop through this array. So here's our for each activity. It says for each item in what? Well, in the array that's called Fibonacci number. So I put the name of the array in there. And what do we want to do? Well, all I'm going to do is just print out each one of them, right? I want to for each loop and print out each item in this Fibonacci numbers array. And I'm going to do that with, I think I'll do it with a log message. I haven't used a log message yet in any of these tutorials. Notice a, a log message has a, a number of different levels. It could be log level trace, log level info, log level warn, log level error, log level fatal. Uh, if you're just printing out some information, info is the one to use. And I'm just going to print out the number is, and then plus Fibonacci numbers. Oh, it's not Fibonacci numbers. That's the whole array. As we're printing stuff out, we're going through the array one element at a time, and each element is named item. So to print out the item, it's actually just the number is plus item. That'll be the ith element in the array. Now notice if I just do that, it'll actually bark back at me a little bit. It says, hey, you know, that's uh, an int32 value. And we, we're trying to print out text here, strings. So I actually have to fix this and go to string right there. But now it actually all works. Let's see, you concatenate an int32 with a string in UiPath. Now it all seems to compile. Compiling doesn't mean it works but it does look like it's compiling. I'm actually gonna clear the output window because the UiPath log message prints to the output window. So I'm gonna clear it just so it's nice and clean. Then I'm gonna click run file. Now when it starts off, I should get a message box. 
That should be a message box that tells me how many elements there are in the array. And so it says there are 11. And gosh darn it, I think that's correct. And then it looks like it doesn't do anything. But in fact, it did do something. You can actually see here in the output window, I'll expand that a little bit. You can actually see that it's actually printed out each of the values inside of our array. And so, yeah, that's uh, the UiPath log activity working inside the UiPath for each activity to loop through an array, a collection class, and do some work on each of its values. Now, again, we just printed out, but you could do multiplication. You could save it to an Excel spreadsheet. You could write it to a text file. The world is your oyster once you have access to the value. And that is how the UiPath for each activity works.